Evening people, hope you're well. Chest expander tonight, yeah, which I can't wait for. So we're gonna have got one spring spenby, two spring spenby, two spring terries, and two spring Chinese rubbish, but quite a strong chest expander. Now, so we're gonna start off with what I call front chest, yeah, front chest lap pull. Now, just to let you know, I've hurt myself. I'm doing a fundraiser for my mate, yeah. I'm doing 100 dips every day for 15 days, which is equal to 1,500 dips. Anybody that follows me knows that I can't do dips because I've got long-term shoulder injuries and weaknesses, yeah. So I don't know how this is going to go, to be fair. But off we go, yeah. So I call these from chest lap poles, yeah. Hold it. One. Two, three, big breath, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Start that one down, yeah. One to two spring spender, yeah. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, quick ten seconds. On to the tennis. Squeeze from the centre of your back here. One. After that, this is rock hard, yeah? Three. Four. Last one. It's hurting the shoulder as well, by the way, yeah, but... Never mind. Five. Take a breather. Ten seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six. I better not do that. I? <laughs> no, right. Right. Now, the reason I'm struggling is this shoulder's poorly. It's not wanting to pull at all. I yeah, don't normally struggle like this. It's just that. Gone. One more. Right, I'll turn around and you can see what that looks like. Set one over and done with, yeah, come back for set two. Now welcome back people, yeah. I've got a shirt on. Because uh, I thought my belly looked a bit big, I've just had my tea, honest. Honest, I have. Bloated up. Right. Arches now, yeah. Start off with one string. So just half a pull. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Remember it's a back exercise, so you should be pulling through back. One, two, three, four, 
Five. Right now, arches with an ounce laid down. Five of. So, one. Keep your, keep your shoulders up. Two. Three. Four. Five. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Have a breather. Swap on to spend B2, yeah? Spend B2 springs, right? So half. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. One, two, three, four, five, and five seconds, and then do the splayed version. One. Two, three, wow, swap, right, I'm going to turn now so you can see what back looks like, yeah? One, two, Heavier springs now, yeah. I'll turn around. One. One. That's it there, evil, yeah. Right, next exercise, one spring. So with this one, you have your arms there, out front, then you pull one back. Yeah, I've got a right lot of room, but it's one back like that, yeah. And then back. And back. I need a bit of room for this really, and I haven't got it. Because you need to be able to twist as well. But I just haven't got the room. See if I've got room here, yeah? One corner here. Change from back. I don't even know if we're doing this properly because I got it off a an old Sandow poster, so you'll have to let me know. Two springs now, yeah. I think this will be a bit limited to be fair on these ones, it's pretty difficult. I'll show you from back how it should look like, yeah.
Wowzers, I got that quite right then actually. Uh, that next exercise, one spring. So it's uh, a lap raise, but with uh, with chest expanders instead of dumbbells. Sit your shoulders back and raise and hold. Swap springs or heavier, I'm going to uh, show you what that looks like from back here. Set your shoulders back. Don't let it just spring back, use your strength to hold it, yeah? Wowzers. Right. One handed now, yeah. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Breather, come back for the next one. These will be fun. Shoulder press. And remember, I've damaged my shoulder, so it might not work out. Choose the shoulder you're going to press with. Hold that in that situation, yeah. Like right that, and press. What I've noticed with that, right, I'm able to hold the spring off the shoulder when I press with this arm because this seems to be back. And the spring's catching on the back when I do it with this arm because this shoulder's forward. So this shoulder's come out of the joint and it's obvious when I do them because the, the spring's scraping on the back. I'll try again, yeah.
very good exercise that. Just for the reason that because of springs, the way they pull your shoulder blades down and back here, yeah, they pull your shoulders into the plane where they belong and they also pull them back where they belong as well as putting them under great tension. So that is a really good healing exercise, believe it or not. Even though your shoulders are far back, it seems counterintuitive. But because these springs secure everything in place while they do that, it's a very good exercise, yeah. It kind of drags your shoulders back and where they should be. So it's a healing exercise. But look at damage on that shoulder. Watch it just drop and disappear out of nowhere. It's gone. Yeah, that's how damaged that shoulder is, yeah. And it's going to take a lot of training to get that back. A lot. Right, next exercise. It's, it's where you have your shoulders based like that and you shove out. I really don't know how these are going to go because I'm in a lot of pain. That's why I'm kind of quiet as well. You know, just getting on with it because I'm hurting. Right, so retract inwards, push outwards. One. This is where you're glad that you haven't got an added back. Now just try a quick set with these, see if it's not too heavy. Control the weight. <clears throat> wow, I'm in so much pain, people. So much pain, yeah. Right. So now, one arm. That actually strengthens muscles that's damaged on me. Maybe I should do these more often. I'll show you from back. Have a breather, come back for the next lot. Right, so we did the uh, shoulder press front and back. We're going to do it front front now, in the diagonal. One, two. This puts more emphasis on front delt. Well, right, damaged shoulder now coming up here. What's, what's instantly apparent with these is, if you imagine you've got a dumbbell, the weight pushes down on you, and it's like a, a push down force or you're pushing force, right? When you've got these, and it's on a spring, 
it's a pulling force. It's not a pushing force anymore. So basically, you're training all your inside joints because it's a, it's a pull you're doing, not a push. Whereas when you've got dumbbells, that's a push. But when you've got a spring, it's a pull. Really weird. And it, and it strengthens all these inners and it lifts your shoulder up. I expected that to drop. Because with dumbbells it drops because it's poorly. But it's not. Watch it pulls up. It engages. Bang. That's why, right? These old school training kits. The far superior to weights. Far superior. Look, it just bang. It's there. Pop. Yeah. Shoulders lifted and engaged. And that's the weaknesses on me. That's what I need to strengthen. This is what I need to be doing more often, yeah? Never mind them weights. Right. Two minutes. Right, so we did them front and back, you remember? Wow. Magic, magic springs. I'd love to know how that happens. Right, so we did them from... Uh, quite worrying, that. Right people, so you remember we did these front back, we're doing the front front now, these ones, yeah. Keep your shoulders back as you do them. Six. Have a go with this weight, let's have another, see if we can do six. I doubt it like because this shoulder is incredibly weak now. <sighs> Back to this. Incredibly weak, yeah. Yeah, they're amazing these, absolutely amazing. They train all the muscles that are weak. Yeah, it trains all your insides, all your inners, yeah. We, we think we're strong because we've got these things, yeah. And as inners are weak, yeah. These are the best tool in the world. This is a bull worker, I'm telling you. Right, so my favourite now, yeah, coming up. I love this one. From front, pull down, tip neck, tip chest. Down to two springs, see what we can do, some damage with these. I'll show you from back actually. Lovely exercise, take two. Right from back now, turn hands, pull downwards. Perfect exercise, that absolutely perfect, yeah. You know when you appreciate these when you're injured like me? Because it just, it should hurt. 
It should actually hurt that engine in done. It soothes it. It's just so weird. It pulls it back in proportion as it turns it. Yeah. I mean, whoever invented these, they didn't just make some springs and think, oh, this is we'll use these to do shoulders. They thought about it. They thought about what this would do to the body. They had to do because it's so perfect. It, it, and it's so ancient as well. And people just think it's obsolete. And it really in anybody into powerlifting. Yeah, I used to do powerlifting when I was younger, I was quite strong. But I'm telling you now, if I had to put these into my uh, resume when I was younger, I'd have been one of the strongest people on planet, yeah? If not the strongest person on planet. I think that people that like world's strongest men, powerlifters, all that type of people need to train with these. I really do. Because they give you so much inner strength and they make you realise how weak you are, really. Waffled on enough, right, let's go. The ligament trainers, ligament strengtheners. I'll show you from back. I'll take shirt off, actually, and get, get a bigger screen. I think the tea's settled a bit now. Right. Bigger spring now, yeah. Whoa! Come back for ball worker. So we're going with bad boy, yeah, X5 1980s. And we're going to do a hold. Push with this arm, pull with this arm. Remember my theory on ball worker people, you might not agree, but it's none of this. Yeah, I believe it's an isometric machine, I believe it always has been, and it's just for holding. So, let's see on the position. Remember, I said I made a mistake before and I squeezed way too hard for my capabilities last time and I hurt myself, so be careful, yeah? Build up to it. And count. A nice 20. So with this other arm now you've got to get to that red marker. Bad shoulder playing up now. And count. That's opening a lot of gaps in there, yeah, it's opening that joint up nice. All these joints all crunched up and inflamed, it's horrible. Here's my own fault though, I'll tell you what I'm doing, yeah. I'm doing a GoFundMe and it's from for a dear friend, yeah, he's uh, really ill. Um, if you want to see it, I've put a video on my videos and there's a GoFundMe link. I'm not going to, I've put a couple of GoFundMe ones on, but I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to pack my Facebook, my YouTube channel, sorry, with those. Um, but they are on there, yeah, I am raising money for a really good friend. And if you're interested, go have a look at one of those GoFundMe videos and the link if you want to donate. But anyway, what I'm trying to explain is, I'm doing dips. I can't do dips, yeah, because uh, I'm injured from an old injury. And I've just re-injured that old injury. Yeah, basically my shoulders don't hold together very well. Um, and uh, yeah, I shouldn't really pick dips. Off we go. Oh. 
really slow. Swap arms, yeah. Really slow. Right, on there as well, some people push and then they hold that into the body, hold it away from your body, yeah, and then you're not relying on any uh, any help or assistance. Right, so we're going to just do the pushing one now, but to be fair, I think injury is going to make a problem for me, so I will see. Right, when you push it, and then just bring it out a bit, nah, yeah, and then and watch your lats and they'll pop out, yeah. As soon as your lats pop out, that's where you hold it, yeah. Right, so start in and push it out there. Hold it. Really slow. Have ten seconds. Again. Bring your lats out. There. That's annihilated already, yeah. It's like a full workout, people, I'll be honest. Right, so... Now we're going to push up, push down, yeah. Put it through here like that. more painful than what else to be honest with you. Now we're gonna pull up with one arm and push down with tricep. Squeeze. Swap arms. Squeeze. exercise. I want to know the name of this. It's from 80s, it's a Joe Wader X30, it's a Joe Wader piece of kit, yeah. They call it an XY machine, but it won't call that when we bought it, and I want to know what it's called, yeah. Right, so, high, squeeze and hold. Up, upside down squeeze hold you see that shoulder difference this one's on chin up it's quite damaged see it I want it to pop out so I'll have to hold that back
that's a wrap, yeah. Right. I've been a bit subdued tonight, yeah, and it's just simply because I'm injured, yeah, and I'm in a lot of pain. Um, but I didn't want to leave it weeks, and I'm actually glad I did this workout, to be honest, because uh, those springs have really helped ease a lot of pressure, yeah, but it really, on a scale of 1 to 10, how much this is hurting right now, it's 10, yeah. So, apologies for being a bit quiet, uh, not normal, and I'm going to have a giggle and that, but I just wanted to get it done, yeah. But that was an overall a really, really good workout, yeah. I can't... I can't emphasise how good these are people, you know, I just can't say enough how good these are, yes. I wish, just wish I'd have kept on with it when I was younger, I'd have been a different person. Right, thanks for training, yeah, keep training no matter what and I'll see you again.